guys. Uh, today it is Star Wars Day! <laughs> um, I'm actually a little bit anxious right now because everything went wrong trying to film this video. And yeah, so I'm also a little bit red and have a little bit more trouble speaking. <laughs> but hopefully I can still make a fun video. Um, I've got my Tantan plushie here to help me. <laughs> Um, I thought for this Star Wars day that I would show you some of my favorite Star Wars books. Now I haven't read like all the books there are. Um, I've mostly read the new books to be honest and I did read some of the books that aren't like officially canon anymore. Um, but most of those I read ages and ages ago and I have no idea what they were about. So this is mostly gonna be the new canon books. But yeah, I thought I'd show you a whole pile. I've got them all right here. Da! Here they are. Of some of <laughs> my favorite books. So the first three are actually um, not canon anymore, unfortunately. I love these books so much. Um, to be honest, it's been ages since I last read them, so I have no idea what like the overall story was. I just know that um, I just know like little bits of it and I know that I did and immensely enjoy reading them. So this is the Corellian trilogy. Um, the first book is called Ambush at Corellia. The second is called Assault at Salonia. And the third and last book is called Showdown and Center Point. And what I do remember from these is that first of all, um, it follows Han, Leia and Luke. Um, in these books and I love just knowing more about what happened, you know, after the movies um, it's, It doesn't work anymore because it's completely different than, you know, The Force Awakens <laughs> But yeah, I don't really know a lot about the, other than that Han had to go on some sort of mission that he didn't want to go on but he went and um, the part that I love was the fact that Mara Jade came into the story and I think she's an amazing character and the part that I love the most, like the absolute most, this is why these were my favorite stories books for like forever is Han and Leia's kids. Um, they're different <laughs> than Ben even though I love Kylo Ren I like it breaks my heart that this is no longer canon because I love these I love them so much so they have three kids um, so Han and Leia, first of all, they're still together and happily married. Like, they have the problems, but they, they're happy. They have three kids, they have twins. Uh, those are the oldest kids, they call Jaina and Jason. And they were just really cool. And then my absolute favorite is their youngest kid, who is called Anakin. And I just love that so much. Um, first of all, like the fact that Leia managed to get over like Darth Vader basically and called her youngest Anakin and I love that Anakin actually has some of the same traits that you know the original Anakin had like he's really good with droids and fixing stuff and he's really strong to force and oh I just loved him so much I loved little Anakin so so much he's one of my favorite Star Wars characters ever so not the original Anakin who's also one of my favorite Star Wars characters but yeah the little Anakin Solo who for unfortunately doesn't officially exist anymore <laughs> these are still really fun books to read and I definitely recommend them they're written by I haven't said that yet right Roger McBride Ellen okay <laughs> Roger McBride Allen and even though they're not canon anymore you can probably just pretend that it's an alternate universe where this did all happen. I think that's what most Star Wars fans are doing. <laughs> okay then on to the books that are officially canon. Um, I'm not gonna rate them in order that I like them or in order that you're supposed to read them because they're just on the random pile and I'm a bit too anxious to sort that out right now, but one of my favorites is definitely Bloodline by Claudia Gray. I believe I did a whole video on this, I'm not entirely sure, but if I did, I'm gonna link it. Basically, it's about Leia and what happened in between like the last movie and The Force Awakens, so when she was in the new Senate. And I love the way that like the new Senate is described, but what I love most is the fact that she didn't tell anyone that Darth Vader was her father and I'd never really thought about it but it's such a logical decision not to tell anyone that um, and it's also kind of like on her anguish about the fact that Darth Vader was her father and I don't know I just thought it was a well written very painful to read at times because it was so like 
heartbreaking for you Leia <laughs> um, also funny of course and just I don't know it's one of my favorite Star Wars books and it's really good and I definitely recommend it especially if you want to know more about Leia and also by Claudia Gray we have Lost Stars and I love this book so much it's basically kind of like a glimpse into the Empire and you know that most of the people who work for the Empire aren't necessarily bad guys and they're kind of like indoctrinated since they were kids to think that the Empire is amazing and this actually follows two cadets um, who are friends and who are at the same academy together and top of their class and that was just all very interesting to read but then one of them decides that they, I'm not gonna say he or she because that kind of spoils it um, don't really believe in the Empire anymore and they have just seen too many horrible things and the things that they've been told about the Empire and how great it was those aren't really true, they realize so um, as you can see from the cover, one of them defects to the rebels and it's just, it's such an amazing read and like the different paths that you can go and you know, how they kind of like talk like they kind of like justify it to themselves like the things that happen and how the doubt begins to grow and it's just a really interesting kind of like psychologically interesting book about the Star Wars universe and I definitely recommend it it was very interesting to read and very insightful Ooh, then we have another book that I loved of course I loved all of them but I love Rebels so so much and I hope to do a lot more Rebel um, books <laughs> because this a new dawn by john jackson miller um basically it's about how hera and kanan met and i found that very interesting and i do believe i did a separate video on this one as well if i did i'll link it if not i'm sorry <laughs> it is really cool if you love the series Rebels I definitely recommend it one of the books that I read most recently is the section of my brother's copy uh, these are all my brother's copies I have a few of these myself um, they're actually right behind me but I just asked him to get all the source books that I've read so that I could pick my favorites <laughs> um, this is Dark Disciple by Christy Golden and I read this for the Dewey 24 hour readathon and I absolutely loved it my brother has been saying for ages now that this is an amazing book and I actually have a copy because he got one for his birthday but he already had it so he gave it to me and he said it was so good and I had to read it and that I would love it and I was like oh yeah sure whatever and I never did until recently and I did absolutely love it so much so it's basically also again like really psychological interesting because there's like this the temptation of the dark side like I don't know for you guys but I was always really I know like in disbelief about the fact that Anakin like decided to join the dark side and like two seconds later he's killing younglings like that seemed like a really big step for me and in this book it kind of like explains a bit more how the dark side work and how it can take over and how it's like a really fine line to not lose yourself and I thought that was really interesting but what I love most is a love story there's a love story in this book <laughs> and I absolutely loved it um so it's basically about this Jedi, Quinlan Foss, he's here on the front cover and he was also like in the Clone Wars but I didn't quite remember him but he's hilarious, I absolutely love him uh, he's such a funny character and I love how he pisses Ventress off because that's the other character and such Ventress is back this is basically like what happened after the Clone Wars which suddenly ended like this is also based on episode that they never got to air and it's amazing and it's heartbreaking and it's heartbreaking warming and it's it's just it's everything all the feelings are in this book and i definitely recommend this so much um yeah it's funny and interesting and it's so good you, you just have to read it <laughs> another book about the dark side it's lords of the sith by paul s kemp so i've read this a while ago when it like first came out so not that long ago um but i think that was like two years ago maybe i don't know but anyway um, I'll, I think this was also the book where um, like he's kind of getting Darth Vader is kind of getting used to his suit I think it was this one or a different one that I read before that but like in that things don't fit right and kind of like scratches and hurts and I thought that was like heartbreaking uh, that's like one of the biggest things I remember and I'm not even entirely sure if it was in this book but basically this is about Darth Vader and 
kind of still Anakin because there's like this little glimpse of Anakin in Darth Vader sometimes as he comes to terms with his new role and tries to forget about his past and has a lot of difficulty adjusting to his role as an apprentice as well uh, again you know, he wants to become a Jedi Master so badly and now he's apprentice again, so that must suck. Um, and you know, he doesn't always agree with the Emperor, but the Emperor is like really um, onto that. <laughs> and you know, he can't defeat the Emperor and they both know it. So it's like this relationship that's building between them and that's kind of like difficult. And I love the fact that someone took the time to figure out how that was in the beginning, because you know, it must have been a huge adjustment and he must have had some second doubts maybe like about everything that he did and the path that he chose, especially since what happened to Padme and you know, I don't know, I just thought it was a really interesting book and I definitely recommend it and yeah, I, I enjoyed reading it a lot. And then last but not least, my recommendation, Ahsoka. Again, if you love Rebels or if you love uh, the Clone Wars mostly actually, you definitely need to read this book because Ahsoka is just awesome, first of all, she's awesome, I've loved her since the beginning and um, yeah, I was devastated when I saw the Clone Wars, I won't say too much because maybe you're watching this and you haven't seen the Clone Wars yet, but anyway, it's basically what happens to Ahsoka after the Clone Wars and before Rebels. And it's really interesting, but also like heartbreaking at times because Ahsoka is just, you know, this is after Order 66, so she thinks that she's basically the last Jedi out there and that everything, everyone she's ever known and loved is dead. So not one of the most cheerful of promises, but yes, yeah, basically she's running from the Empire and uh, constantly going to new places and she's like on this backwater little moon where nothing ever happens and she's trying to find her place there, but then the Empire shows up and she kind of like goes back into her role of protector and it's it's a really good book. Um, it's by E. E K. E K. <laughs> it's by E K. Johnston, and I think I also did a separate video about this one. But again, I'm not sure. I will like I can only link two at the end, I think. But I will link. Um, yeah, I will link them all down below if I did make Star Wars videos. <laughs> Let me know if you've read any of these or if you're planning to read some of them. They're all amazing and I definitely recommend that you read them all because they're just great. And even if you've never like read a single Star Wars book but you did enjoy the movies, there's like a whole world out there and it's amazing and it's basically infinite so I definitely recommend that you check it out especially like the old stuff that there's so many books it's unbelievable <laughs> also if you're doing something fun for Star Wars Day let me know I just spent the whole day baking cupcakes and I plan to make Chewbacca cupcakes and if that works out I will show you maybe like a photo at the end of this video or maybe like a really short video I'm not entirely sure but or maybe it won't work out and they'll look horrible and I just want them to be eaten quickly. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna watch um, a few Star Wars movies and a few Star Wars games and maybe the trivia or something. I'm not entirely sure yet. I think like one or two or three other people are coming and yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked it please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel, you make me really happy and you'll be notified when I make a new video. So I think all that's left to say is may the 4th be with you. <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs>